Welcome back to Walk and Talk with Queen P. Now I have been away for about a week. A week sounds a lot for me actually on off YouTube. I'm so used to posting my videos but I just needed that time to reset myself and come back with new and exciting material. Um, when I took that week off, I, oh, let me just say, I did start my channel this year, the first week in January 2021. So I have actually consistently posted every single week up until last week so yeah that rest was required anyway going back to my chitter chatter i actually discovered on my time off that i had put on 10 pounds i used to 10 pounds being the equivalent of all these cans and a couple more and also it's equivalent to the bag that you're going to see now the bag that you're going to see now is 1.5 kg so equivalent to about three and a half of these bags i i'm carrying around with me that i didn't carry before so now i'm drinking a lot of um ginger tea ginger tea and which i'm about to pour now and i'm drinking quite a lot of water as well just to flush the system out and I'm eating a lot of, I'm eating, I'm doing conscious eating, not diet, conscious eating. So there you go, got some scrambled eggs there. Not much salt at all, more garlic powder. See, I'm pounding the pavement as well. So what I'm doing is combining both conscious eating and my walking, most definitely, just to get those, you know, those pounds off because that was a it was a real shocker for me and um, I'm not gonna lie it was a shocker for me but do you know what I used to do I used to weigh myself actually I used to weigh myself consistently and I used to keep on top of um, my weight um, but I hadn't weighed myself for over a year so what I was doing is I was walking a lot but obviously I was eating double the calories I was burning off so I was walking miles upon miles but I was eating so many I wasn't consciously eating so I was just picking up whatever I could cook fast or actually because of um, the situation we find ourselves in I was having a lot of takeaway and I thought oh, I'll have a bit of takeaway today I have a takeaway for breakfast takeaway for lunch takeaway for dinner you know <laughs> doesn't work it doesn't work at all because the pounds just creep on so what my goal is is to lose those 10 pounds now just an update um obviously i discovered that a week and a bit ago and i have lost five pounds so far and that's by consciously eating and obviously maintaining my um daily steps so what I'm intending to do actually, and I'm, I'm intending, actually, actually, before I say that, um, this is the kind of foods I'm eating, all green, all clean, all conscious eating. So a bit of salad, a bit of walking, a bit of stir fry with the spray oil, <laughs> vegetables and a bit of chicken in there as well. Yes, yeah, so I've been doing a lot of clean eating of late, hitting the stairs as well, pounding the pavements. Um, so that I am in calorie deficit as opposed to what I was not doing over the past year and what I was doing is pay pounds in the pavement but overeating but I do feel actually that the extra pounds is not just the food I think it's through um, muscle that I've developed extra muscle that I've de developed on my on my legs as well I've toned up a lot I've toned up a lot so it might just be a little bit of muscle as well but there is some fat there because I've got this app which actually measures your body fat index as well so I know I've got a bit of fat on me that needs to go so my aim look this is me leaving in the morning going for my daily walk it has to be done. It has to be done. My aim is to lose £10 <laughs> by Sunday of next week. Today is Friday. So my aim is to, when I hit the scales on, I'll weigh myself on Sunday of this week. Hopefully I've lost a couple more pounds. And I hope that after those couple of pounds, by next Sunday, I would have lost an extra three. And that would be £10 off in just under three weeks and that would be from conscious eating no takeaways at all 
loads of water and yeah and walking just walking and that's all I'm intending to do um I want to maintain I want to lose the weight obviously obviously I want to lose 10 pounds but I'm thinking I might just want to lose another five pounds so that I have that kind of three pound buffer so if I do indulge and you know I do treat myself on your day um when I'm maintaining my weight, it won't make much of a difference because I have that three pound buffer. I just want to be ideally a stone under what I am now with the extra three pounds for that important buffer. Again, I'm leaving my house for a daily walk. What I usually do for my daily walks, what I've tried to do and fit around work, and obviously I'm working from home, is that I get up really early at the crack of dawn and I go for a walk for about an hour and a half. And then I come back, have a shower and restart work again. And then what I try to do is go for another walk at lunchtime. But of late, I haven't been able to do it. So I usually do a little bit more steps in the morning, purely because of the heat at midday. And I suffer from hay fever. So it's not really nice when you go out in the midday because your eyes and your whole being suffers so yeah but a good practice is to obviously wear um do about an hour and a half to two hour walk before you start work do a hour walk at lunchtime and then do you know i mean after work you know you're 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 in control of your own time aren't you you don't have to rush back for anything so you can you can keep on walking really and um Oh, look at the view there. That was sun, sunset, I believe. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The views that I see when I'm walking, the parks that I have discovered through a lot of my walking is immense, I would say. What I will say is that my I'm going to be doing quite a few challenges on my YouTube site um, just to encourage the weight loss. And obviously not weight loss at an expedited um, pace but one at a healthy pace so that I can maintain and keep it off so what I'm hoping to do is do a challenge on Monday I believe Monday the 21st of June for seven days well six and a bit days I would say before midday on Sunday um, what I'm aiming to do I'm aiming to do 20,000 steps a day now, I will document that um, and I will post it next Saturday or Friday evening, actually. So you can see what I did um, to get to those 20,000 steps a day for that six and a bit, six and a half days of steppage. So hopefully on the last day, I'm aiming to do 20,000 steps before midday on Sunday. That's going to be immense. But I will document it because I'm accountable to you all. That will be my first challenge, so hopefully that will um, aid in shifting the last bit of pounds that I have to hit my £10 drop target. And then what I'm going to do after that, I probably will do, I'm going to be in a challenge and I'll probably, another challenge where I'm hoping to do probably about 25,000 steps for four days. And I'll take you on my journey on that as well. Um, I might be eating a little bit more carbs. I think I'm going to need it for 25,000 steps a day. But I will take you on that journey as well. So I'm going to do quite a few kind of like mini challenges with regards to my daily steps. Just to show you that it can be done. And if you put your mind um, and focus your mind, anything can be achieved. Um, and obviously what I am combining this walking with is with clean eating. And I feel much more better. I don't feel sluggish. I don't feel bloated. I actually feel much better for it actually. There are times I'm craving a burger or like a Krispy Kreme donut. But the satisfaction of going to sleep and knowing I haven't stuck my face with a Krispy Kreme donut is immense. It's so cool. Oh, look at the beautiful views. This was actually in Margate. Um, my friends and I, we took um, a road trip down to Margate the other day. And yay, there you go. Amazing views of Margate Beach. So yeah, I mean, driving to all these different locations, you can take advantage of increasing your steps by 
um, observe for such a wonderful view. But anyway, I am coming to the end of my video. I can't believe I've talked for nearly 10 minutes, actually just over 10 minutes straight. But I had a lot to say, obviously. I didn't post a video last week. But what I will say to you is thank you for watching. And I will also, um, I will say tune in or look for look out for my video which I will be posting next Saturday, next Friday or Saturday which will be a round up of well a kind of like a progress update of my walking so I think on that day I'll be on day five no day six day five or six I will be on so I'll give you an update as to the steps I've had and the conscious eating I've been doing and then I'll update you on the next challenge. And if you want to obviously join in my challenges, just um, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram account is at a day in the life of Queen P. And if you are participating in any challenges or anything, just do hashtag walk and talk with Queen P. And yeah, and I'll be able to see and I'll give you a shout out. But anyway, let me leave you here. Um, have an amazing weekend or whatever you intend to do but what you should try and do is incorporate walking into it into your into your routine as well but as I said to you before see you next week I did forget to say if you did enjoy my video please do like comment and subscribe feedback is a gift I'm not a writer. Okay. Yeah.